Hi children, welcome to our class, class 6, subject science, chapter 6, habitat. Today we are going to learn activity 2, organisms that live in different levels of a pond. Try to answer the following questions on the basis of what you have read so far. Name some organisms in the pond that can stay in different regions in the same pond. These are the different regions in the same pond. What are the organisms? For example, fish. They can stay in different regions in the same pond. What makes them stay in different regions in the pond? Some conditions like availability of different amounts of food, a light, etc. makes them stay in different regions in the pond. Is there any animal with legs in the pond? Yes. Example, cranes, ducks, etc. Do all, do all animals in the pond have tails? No. Some of the animals have tails. Do all animals in a pond swim? What are the animals that share the surface of the pond as habitat? The animals live in different parts of the pond. These animals shown below are frequently found on or near the water surface of the pond. Back swimmer, guppy and pond skater and tadpole, larva of frog. These are the animals that share the surface of the pond as habitat. Are leaves of all plants growing in the pond similar? No. What is the difference between the leaves of hydrilla and lotus? The leaves of lotus growing at the floating. They can floating on the surface of the water while hydrilla the leaves of a hydrilla plant growing at the bottom of the water in all ponds we can see both plants and animals the plants that we see in, in the water is are called aquatic plants. The animals that we see in water are called aquatic animals. This type of habitat is said to be an aquatic habitat. There are several aquatic habitats on the earth from very small ones like water tanks, ponds, different places in the water tank or pond, small garden pools, pools that form after rain to large ones like salt water lakes, rivers, seas, etc. Thank you my dear children.